What's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new makeup tutorial for you guys and this was inspired by the ever so fabulous Kylie Jenner. Of course, her and Chloe recently had a photo up, I believe on Kylie Cosmetics Instagram. It's like an ad for the upcoming Coco lip gloss or lipstick collection with Kylie Cosmetics. I loved their makeup so much. It was gorgeous to me. They had these beautiful bronze smoky eyes with kind of like an orangey red lip. The lip that they're wearing is actually a part of Kylie and Chloe's new little collection collab they're doing. So I did not not have that for the video but I chose a ColourPop one that I thought looked pretty similar. It's not exact of course but it'll get the job done. So though this look actually is not really exactly or identical to the look that they're wearing in the ad, it's just what I was inspired by and I thought I would put something of my own kind of together. So yeah, anyway fam, if you guys want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. First up as usual we need to prime our lids. I'm going to use the Benefit Cosmetics Stay Don't Stray in the shade Light Medium. And then I'm just going to blend that in with the Sigma E59 shadow brush all the way to the brow bone to prep for our shadows, duh. You guys know what the deal is. <laughs> Sorry. Now this look actually looks extremely simple. Honestly, you could probably do this with any products at home. You don't need to have the Kylie Cosmetics palette absolutely at all. It's just a smoky bronzy look and I think it's going to be really easy for us to recreate. Jump into this matte bronze shade here. Very simple brown. And then from there, let's start working this into the crease. Kylie's look is super blown out, you guys. She takes it all the way to the inner corners, to the outer corners with this brown. It's almost hitting her brow bone. So it's going to be up to you to determine how dramatic you want this look. And all around here, staying consistent. I just found my Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette. So I'm going to switch to this. Not switch, but we're going to use probably, yeah, a lot of it. It's the one I wanted to do this look with, and I couldn't find it. And, of course, I find it, like, halfway through my video. But anyway, next I'm going to jump into this warmer, deeper brown here in the bottom corner. And I do think it's best we stick with our E40 from Sigma Beauty so it stays light in, like, a fluffy crease. Nothing too, you know, concentrated, not like a cut crease. And now from here, I'm going to start buffing this into the same crease we've been working in. Dada Shade, it's the only crease I have. I'm such a goofy. Well, it's certainly not the only crease I have. <laughs> and I am extending that shadow a little bit back towards the outer bone here, or my brow tail. At this point, I'm going to jump into the cream color in the bronze palette. See, this would have been perfect to start off with in the beginning, whatevs. I'm just going to pop this highlight right here on my highlight, <laughs> on my brow bone, and blend that in so I can break up that line there. This is the Sigma Beauty Domed Utility E34 brush. I really love it. It's such a great little detail brush. Next for the lids, you guys, I'm actually going to take this Super Shock Cheek. It's from the K-pop collection. This is Glow Up. I want to take this and put it right on the lid to give us that glow she has going on. It's beautiful. Try and keep it under the crease, obviously, because she has a sharp, like, matte to shimmer ratio, if you know what I'm saying. And then on top of that, ugh, a loke, shut up. And then on top of that, I'm going to spray my shadow brush with a little makeup setting spray. I am so sorry, you guys. He knows, like, I always, like, send him a certain emoji when I'm filming, and I'm like, don't text me during this time, because A, I need to focus, and B, I don't like the sound of phones in the background of videos. It's just really annoying to me, so I know it has to be annoying to you guys. Like, when I'm watching a tutorial and someone answers their phone, and I don't mean this as any shade, like, I love everybody who I watch, so I would never mean it as, like, shady or to be hurtful, but I do have to say, when someone answers their phone while filming, it makes me very upset. Not upset. I'm just like, why did you do that? Like, no offense, but people don't have time for your, like, phone call. And also, you know how to edit a video, and you know how to edit out phone calls and stuff. You know what I mean? But again, no shade. I don't mean it in a shady way. I love everybody that I watch. And I'm sure I've done it before, because I'm, like, you know, so cool. That is pretty. I also just want to take a little bit of this warm matte brown to deepen up around that shadow we just laid down. Not a lot, but just to add a little dimension. And I'm also gonna still kind of wing it out a bit to make our eye, like she always has that really nice, like long looking eye. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's always very extended outwards. So I'm just building around this a little bit. 
I'm also then going to take a little bit of this. I just got it. I'm really excited. It's Yes to Cucumbers. No, Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Ultra Hydrating Micellar Water. I love micellar waters. I love the Garnier one forever and ever and ever. But this one I saw had like a nice little like, oh, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> it has a pump. How do I pump you? There we go. We got her. I'm still on my t-shirt grind where I've almost completely given up makeup remover wipes. Oh, I just saw Chloe Morello's face halo thing. Like, I need that thing. That will also help my cause. And some people say it's too harsh for your eyes, and it probably is, but I care much more about the environment than I do my eyes, or at least I'm really trying to. I'm really trying to make the effort to, like, watch what I'm doing and how much I'm wasting and how much mess I'm making. So it's not exact, but whatever, I like it. <laughs> this is the Fabu Liner by Jordana, and Kylie does not have a real thick wing at all, but she definitely does have a little band across her lash line, so that's what I'm gonna add. I'm gonna throw a little mascara on before I start moving on to the face and everything else, and false lashes and whatnot. So this is the Benefit They're Real, but it was like their specialty edition one with crystals up in there. Looks beautiful. I'm just gonna top my lashes with this. I've been loving Benefit They're Real again. Next we need to throw on some lashes. This is Violet Voss, I Need You. Oh my goodness! Did you, he's falling on me! He's actually, you guys, he's 100%, I have to catch him. Oh baby, I have to catch you because you're falling. Puka! Baby boy, you're gonna fall. Oh, you are so precious. Do you want to sit with mommy? All right, everyone. Well, someone apparently really wants to say hello. So say hi to Luca Buka. He's our little bubby. Oh my goodness. He's such a precious angel. Look at him. He's just my precious baby. Oh, <laughs> he literally loves when I hold him like this. Look, see, he wants me to hold his whole face. He is such a little lover kitty. How cute is my little bug? I just love him. He is such a cuddle source Rex. Tell me what lashes you guys have been loving lately. Is there a lash company that you just love? I've been wanting to try, gosh, there's so many lashes I need to try since they've really started making great lashes. Not that there hasn't always been great lashes, but you know, there's like bigger lash companies now. I really have just always used Violet Voss or Ardell. Violet Voss is my favorite lashes in the world, but I need to try more. I'm also gonna take my Man Eater Eyeliner by, every time I say that, I'm like, <laughs> what? Um, yeah, I'm gonna take my Man Eater Eyeliner by Tarte Cosmetics. Ooh, forgot it's a little twisty there. And I'm just gonna tight line. For primer, I'm gonna take the Smashbox Photo Finish Color Correcting Primer. This is so smooth, this one. It's like silky smooth. Oh, this feels nice. Can't forget my forehead where I wrinkle up. And then for foundation, I'm gonna use my Kat Von D. Oh, Luca got his darn hair all over it. Ooh, this is like the perfect color for me right now. Doesn't look like it. If you guys have not seen my review of the new Urban Decay makeup, I highly recommend you check it out. It's like mind blowing to me. I'm obsessed with the Velvetizer. Oh, I love the Kat Von D foundations. They're so good, so good. They make my skin look so flawless. Oh my gosh, finally my breakouts are going away. I was having a really bad skin week. I've been so stressed out, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. But that's okay, because what do we do when life gets stressful? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. We just keep on swimming, and we will get through it. Next for concealer, I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Correct in the shade Light Ivory. And then just blend it in with my 3D HD blender from Sigma Beauty. There, down the nose for our highlights. This is a nice concealer. I love everything from the Photo Focus line, really. Perfect, and now let's set my under eye with some wet and, no, this is not wet and wild. This is the Laura Mercier <laughs> translucent powder. I'm gonna take it with my Self Blend F64 concealer brush and press it under the eye. Sometimes I like to just, it's not even really baking, or maybe it is, but I like to put, I like to apply it with a brush versus a sponge sometimes. It just like looks more natural by the end of it to me. So I just like focus it real quick in my little trouble area, which is right underneath my eye and my creases. I wanna make sure I have that like set and covered because that's like most important to me. And then I also do like to take a little translucent powder and I just like to set it right in my forehead 
because I crease here. Oh, typical. It's like the minute this side of my face clears up, this one starts breaking out right away. You jerk. You jerk face. I'm gonna take my little Wet n Wild powder here. The Photo Focus Press Powder, which I just wish was just like, just a hint softer. It's almost like the powder is too, like, hard. I mean, now that I'm kind of breaking into the powder, it's better. But when I first bought it, I thought it was like too stiff of a powder. I don't know how to explain it, but when I would like dig my brush in it, I thought like none was coming up. Also going to set my forehead and knock off any translucent powder that's still there. For now, let's move on to contour. And I think I want to use my Tartist contouring palette. I bought this during the VIB sale at Sephora and I've not used it enough in my opinion. So I'm gonna jump into this shade here. I'm gonna actually like kind of mix both of these two. Looks a little warm there. That's okay. It is a warm look. This is the Sigma Beauty Small Contour FO5 brush. It's like my favorite for a quick, fast contour. I mean, look how well it blended those shades out. It, it's just perfect. It cuts my cheek perfectly. I'm also gonna take some of this bronzer and work it into my temples. Blend that all in. This will give us like a nice, like little, just like a sun kiss look. This is, I will say, this Tarte Contour Palette is extremely warm but I do really like the sun-kissed effect it gives. I've actually got to take it onto my ears because I am just not this tan. And then underneath the eyes, I'm gonna take a little bit of this matte brown again. I also just want to take a hint of the chocolate brown right tight along those lashes about halfway and then you can blend it out with that lighter brown if you need to which I always do because I'm a little slob kebab. I'm not trying this for the first time ever you guys this is the Becca Cosmetics and Chrissy collab. Chrissy Teigen! I know you already know that but I'm so excited. I'm gonna take some of the blush first. Whoa! I'm obsessed with this blush color. I'm smitten with this blush color. I love it. I'm then going to take the rose gold, I think it is, highlighter. I love this rose gold shade. At first I was wondering if it's even going to show up on me. I thought it might be a little too deep for my skin tone, but no, it's working. I'm such a dinkus, I forget almost every time, you guys, I need to put mascara on my bottom lashes. I almost always forget. And this is like a no-name mascara that I bought at Marshalls. I wore it, or I used it in my um, makeup tutorial using makeup from Marshalls. So if you missed that video, I'll link it down below. It was super fun, super interesting. I need to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Oh my gosh, it's about to rain and I didn't take any pictures of my makeup yet. And now for lip liner, you guys, I'm going to use Sigma Beauty's Make Your Mark Lip Liner. These are the smoothest lip liners in the world. If you cannot stand tugging, you have to try the Sigma Beauty lip liners. Wow, I really wish all my lighting did not just go away. This is so unfortunate. It's about to start pouring out. I'm going to use ColourPop Cosmetics Succulent, uh, is this it? Yes, Succulent Ultra Matte Lip. Oh, son, why did you have to go down? You were here all freaking morning. And now at the end, of course, when I'm done my whole makeup look and I need to film the intro where the lighting is most crucial, most important, it's gone. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You are not going to want to miss this next month. I have a lot of exciting stuff planned for us and you're definitely gonna wanna be here for it. Subscribe if you haven't. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.